In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make walls in AutoCAD. If you've just finished creating your initial floor plan layout, it's time to jump into adding those crucial walls that give structure and definition to your design. Let's start by organizing your layout and getting everything ready for this process. First, it's incredibly helpful to group your initial lines of the floor plan layout. To do this, simply select all the lines you've drawn for your plan. Once you've got them selected, right-click and choose the Group option. Grouping these lines makes managing your design much more efficient as it keeps everything intact and organised, especially as we move into drawing the walls. Now that our lines are grouped, we can seamlessly transition into creating walls by using the M-Line command which is an AutoCAD feature specifically designed for drawing multi-line walls. Go ahead and type M-Line into the command bar and hit enter. What this does is prepare AutoCAD to draw multi-line segments that are ideal for walls. Next, before drawing, we need to make a few settings adjustments to ensure our walls align properly with the plan. You'll want to select the justification setting. You can do this by looking at the command options listed either in the command line or in the options bar. For precision, it's best to set this justification to zero. This setting ensures that your walls are drawn accurately without any unintended offsets from your original plan. With the justification set, now it's time to decide on the thickness of your walls. In the options bar, select the scale, which represents the thickness and smoothly enter the measurement you'd like for your walls. This could vary depending on your design requirements, but make sure it's an accurate representation of your intended wall thickness for the final build. Now comes the fun part, drawing the walls themselves around your plan. Using your initial layout as a guide, use the M-Line tool to trace over your lines and create the walls. As you're drawing, keep an eye on your design to ensure everything is lining up perfectly with your plan's layout. AutoCAD will handle the construction of the walls, working within the parameters we set earlier. Once the walls are drawn and you're satisfied with the look, there's a bit of cleanup needed. We no longer need the guiding lines of the original floor plan, so go ahead and select that grouped line layout we created at the beginning. Simply delete it leaving behind your beautifully structured, walled floor plan. And there you have it. Your floor plan now has walls, adding that much needed depth and realism to your design in AutoCAD. Hopefully this guide has made the process of creating walls in AutoCAD clear and straightforward. Thank you for watching and happy designing.